vitamin E is part of my CLF protocol that I made. The CLF protocol stands for calcification, lipofuscin fibrosis. Vitamin E requirements go up by six times with the ingestion of polyunsaturated fats. And it's not just because you stop canola oil and, and safflower oil and, sun, and all these PUFAs, you don't just stop them and then you're good. Remember I said these are stored in the tissues as lipofuscin, right, as the, these breakdown products. And so the research shows, I, I show this on my website, six times vitamin E requirement from PUFAs. And that's not just from ingesting them. You get in an argument with your spouse, with your partner, someone cuts you off on the road, you get in an argument with the customer, the coworker, whatever, stress, cortisol, you're not regulating your blood sugar, you're skipping breakfast, you can't store glycogen in the liver, right, because you've been keto for so long, your metabolism's trashed, all of these things, you have excess cortisol. And what cortisol does is it eats your body it breaks you down. If you don't consume carbs or sugar, your body will get sugar. It's just gonna eat you to get the sugar. And so when it breaks down your fat and your muscle, well, what's in the adipose tissue? A lot of polyunsaturated fatty acid breakdown products, like I mentioned before. Those go out into the bloodstream, those suppress the metabolism, and they shut down cellular respiration. Your cells literally cannot breathe with polyunsaturated fats in your bloodstream. They cause insulin resistance. Everyone's all afraid about insulin resistance. It's not sugar, it's polyunsaturated fats. So if you look into the research on vitamin E, Herbert Bailey has a lot of good material. There is a doctor up in Canada, up in Ontario, Canada, Evan Shute, that was treating heart disease patients with high dose vitamin E therapy. This has been used for diabetes, for various neurodegeneration, all sorts of different conditions. And when you think about it, it makes sense. It's a fat soluble vitamin, right? So what are fat soluble vitamins? You have A, D, E, and K. You have four, A, D, E, and K. A and D, if you're eating eggs, butter, cheese, milk, you're pretty good on A and D, right? Retinol and vitamin D, and maybe you have a, a tanning light or you go out in the sun, I would recommend a tanning light if you're in a northern latitude like myself. But E and K, those are hard to get. And a lot of people were deficient in those. But let's just focus on vitamin E for a minute. Vitamin E has so many functions in the body. It actually helps with calcification, which I address in my protocol. It helps with iron overload, which I address in my protocol. It spares progesterone it increases mitochondrial respiration. The mitochondria can breathe. When the mitochondria can breathe, they can have oxygen. When the mitochondria can have oxygen, you have ATP production. They can produce energy. You have ATP production, you could heal your entire body. Your entire body will heal, it will come back into balance. So when I see an overweight person, they're energy deficient. That's what I see. When I see a sick person, whatever, it's not a disease, if a sick person with the disease, there's only one disease, a sick person with the disease, I look at them and I see that they're energy deficient. I don't care if it's eczema, psoriasis, PCOS, endometriosis, diabetes, heart disease, whatever it is, whatever name for the disease that they gave you. It's all the same thing. The body's out of balance. You have to give it what it needs. Well, let's see what you have a lot of. You have a lot of calcification, you have a lot of lipofuscin, you have a lot of fibrosis. How are your cells supposed to get energy? They can't. You have necrotic tissue. Oxygen can't reach the tissue, they can't reach the cells. And what's oxygen? It's the terminal electron acceptor. It's what pulls all the electrons across the mitochondria so you can make adenosine triphosphate, the energy currency of the body. So people forget these fundamental things, and that's why I focus so much on magnesium too is because magnesium is required of two out of the five mitochondrial complexes in the respiratory chain to make ATP. So you're missing copper for cytochrome C oxidase, you're missing magnesium for cytochrome uh, three and four and five. You have, you have three out of two of your, of, your, of your waste stations and your mitochondria knocked out. 
right? How are you supposed to generate energy? No wonder you have whatever symptom, right? So I'm anti-chasing symptoms, I'm anti-diets. I believe in balance, I believe in not restricting macronutrients, and I believe in intelligent supplementation. There are a lot of anti-supplement people out there that say no supplements are required. Really? Were you raised in America like me? Were you raised eating iron filings in your freaking cereal? Were you raised getting tons of vegetable oil whenever you went out to eat with friends? Got pizza, got burritos, got tacos, went out to eat wherever. They're not cooking your stuff in butter and, and coconut oil, I can tell you that. Consume that stuff for 20, 25, 30 years before you even learned what a PUFA was? Are you kidding me?